Happy New Year, everyone. I want to start by congratulating Diseases of the Colon and Rectum, our scientific journal, which celebrates 65 years of publication this month. Our transaction started being published in 1899 when Dr. Joseph Matthews started our society, and it continued with periodic publications of the society's transactions. But since that time, the journal was formally established in 1958, initially with a small editorial board that published every two months, but now, as we all know, it's grown into an internationally distributed journal with a large working editorial board that covers a lot of clinical and research content. The journal now has true international impact, with 30% of the editorial board coming from 11 countries outside the USA. And recently there have been many editions, but including Spanish and Chinese translations of selected items. In its history, the editors have included a famous list of colorectal surgeons. Doctors Louis Buey, John Hill, Bob Beard, Victor Fazio, Robert Madoff, and now Dr. Susan Galandiak. Under her guidance, with co-editors Drs. John Monson and Scott Steele, the impact factor has increased from 3.6 to almost 4.7. The journal now has an annualized web visit number of more than 300,000 and nearly 15,000 Twitter followers. On all of our behalf, I want to thank Dr. Galandiak and the entire team for their leadership and excellence in continuing to make the journal what it is. Thank you also to all ASCRS members who have contributed to the success of our journal over the years, through publishing in DCNR, through reviewing papers and manuscripts, or by being part of the editorial board. Our journal is truly one of the greatest member benefits of the entire society. As a new member benefit, ASCRS members are now able to directly contact the Executive Council through a new comment portal on the ASCRS website. Check it out. If you have questions, comments or concerns, we would love to hear from you. A link to the contact form will be in future issues of the Weekly Digest email sent to members each Monday morning. Now, I'm excited to change gears and remind you about the really popular video mentorship series, which returns for a third year with a curriculum of six new topics that will be presented as live webinars throughout 2023. Here to tell us more about this video session and other video education is Dr. Alessandro Ferreira, Chair of the Video-Based Education Committee for this month's Committee Update. Welcome, Alessandro. My name is Alessandro Fichera. I am a colon and rectal surgeon practicing at Baylor University Medical Center in downtown Dallas. We are part of Baylor Scott and White Health, a very large healthcare system that covers Central and North Texas. I'm the chair of the Video-Based Education Committee. I've been on the committee for almost 12 years and I've had the opportunity to watch the committee evolve from a purely peer review group in charge of selecting videos for podium presentations for the annual scientific meeting to a truly education-based working group. The mission of the committee is to develop audio-visual educational tools and to make those available and accessible to trainees, junior surgeons, and surgeons in practice, both nationally and internationally. We have been focusing on two major projects, the Video Mentorship Series and the DCR ASCRS Didactic Video Library. The Video Mentorship Series was based on an idea of an open forum for feedback and discussion of different techniques and approaches to common colorectal pathologies given to us by past president Neil Hyman. It was based on a previous project they conducted in Illinois where practicing surgeons would submit to a panel of experts unedited videos for review and feedback. We are now in the third year of this initiative and it has been very successful both nationally and internationally. In fact, in 2022, we had 408 total enrolled participants from 35 countries. In a nutshell, 
we select a specific step of a procedure and ask the membership of the society and surgeons at large to submit anonymously unedited short videos without narration for hosts and moderators to discuss in a webinar format. The audience submits questions as the video is presented. It has been extremely entertaining, stimulating, and successful. The second project is the DCR ASCRS Didactic Video Library. We accept video submissions of common colorectal procedures. The videos are peer reviewed and, if accepted, published on the journal, the DCR YouTube channel, and ASCRSU for the membership and readership of the journal to access at their leisure. The goal is to provide very schematic, didactic, and clear representation of the procedure we perform every day. These two initiatives would not have been possible without the unconditional support of the society leadership over the years and the editor-in-chief of the journal working together. Both projects are open to anybody to submit and participate. We are looking forward to expanding the educational component of the committee that makes our work significantly more exciting and stimulating. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase what the committee has been doing for the last few years. Alessandro, I want to thank you and the entire team for all the great work that you've done. The Video-Based Education Committee have really been undertaking some great projects and we see that with the uptake and interest from the membership. To all of you, if you haven't already, please be sure to renew your 2023 membership dues to stay connected and to continue your access to numerous member benefits. I look forward to seeing you all in Seattle. Just want to let you know that we now have the hashtags ASCRS23 and hashtag Sleepless Till Seattle. Thank you for joining me today and always remember this is your specialty and ASCRS is your society. I look forward to seeing you next time.